Hello everyone, we will continue the topic set leaf table and in the previous videos we understood the concept of set leaf table, we understood the main advantage of set leaf table or the concept of sets. In the previous video, based upon our requirement, we created two sets, one for the quantity and one for the users. And whenever we whenever we created the sets through ZGS01 transaction code, whenever we will change the sets through GS02 transaction codes, the entries are getting reflected into this set leaf table. Suppose if I will show you what are the two sets we created. So entries are into this particular table. Now, into this particular video, we will write the logic into this particular user exit because our requirement is same to same rather than TVARVC table concept. Now, we will use the set leaf concept. And in the previous video, by mistake at one place rather than GS02. I by mistake, I told GS01 to change a set. You can ignore that part. GS01 is to create. GS02 is to change. GS03 is to display a set. So I will go for same MV45AFZZ. And I will replace the logic of TVARVC table with set leaf table because our requirement is same to same. I will go to enhance mode. Now I will simply go for this change implementation, right click, enhancement operation, change implementation. Now what I will do, I will simply simply comment this logic. I'll firstly copy. I will comment and we will write the logic using set leaf table. Let's comment this if condition also. So that other logic will be as it is. Now, now rather than this TVARVC tables, we will use the concept of set leaf. So I'll simply remove these two queries. Rest part is as it is. We'll simply change the structure of the internal tables. Now we will go for our table. Now what we want? We want this particular value, 2000. We want R Mehta M dash and this particular list of users. It means for this, yes, we will simply simply go for a select single because what we did, we have only only bought this 2000. Now for this second set, we bought this also, we bought this also, we bought this also. It means we will go for internal table. So I will write the query. Suppose I will firstly go for select single. Now select single. What we want? We want this val from. So I will simply write select single val from. I will simply write into LV underscore quantity. Yes, I'm simply fetching and putting into variable. Now I will go for from. Now, what is the table name? Now, the table name is set leaf. From set leaf table, now we will go for where condition. Now, you can see into this particular table, we have these four primary keys, four primary keys. Set class 0000, subclass space, set name quantity, line ID 1. Yes. And I want this. So I'll pass all these four primary keys so that I will always get a unique record. Yes. So I will pass where set class 
is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. And subclass, subclass is space. And set name. This is extremely important. Anyways, whenever you will see the table, you will see the entries. It's very easy to write the query based upon that. Set name Z quantity. And now I will go for and one more line ID. line id is equal to yes anyways if i will see line id is numeric i'll just check yes line id is numc10 so i can simply put one or you can put nine zeros one it's totally your wish if i will execute yes line id i'll put but because anyways, it's numeric. Yes. Now, if I will simply, simply go for second query. Now we want this entry. We want this entry. We want this entry. It means we need to go for internal table. So I'll simply change the structure of this internal table. We want this. So I'll simply take val from. Val from. But the type of val from I will check. Val from is of this type. I will write type this. Because we only need to change the queries. Rest concept is as it is. Logic is as it is. Now I will write select. Now I will not go for single. Because we have multiple users. Yes. If I will go for this. Whenever you want to write the queries, always check the content because it will help you to write the logic in the best way. Now, I want this three entries. I want these three entries. And in these three entries, what I want? Val from. So I will write select val from from which particular table? Set leaf table into table because we need to go for internal table but the name of internal table lt underscore users now i will go for where condition this is important now suppose for all these three records what is set class zero 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 so i will go for set class is equal to zero 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 and what is subclass blank? We'll go for subclass blank. Now we will go for and. Now for these all three records, what is set name? Z -ved underscore U S R E S. Set name is equal to Z -ved underscore U S R E S. Now, there is no need to pass the fourth condition. If we will pass line ID, if we will pass line ID 1, then we will get this record. We will not get the other two records. If we will pass line ID 2, then we will get, then we will get only this record. We will not get first and third record. If we will pass line ID 3, then we will only, only get this record. We will not get these two records. There's no need to pass the line ID because if you will pass the line ID, you will get a single record based upon these four primary keys. So there's no need to pass the line ID. So now we have into this particular variable LV underscore quantity. Yes, I'll just change the type of LV underscore quantity because now LV underscore quantity, if I will see, I will write LV underscore quantity is of this type. This. Because it was for TVARVC. Now, 
I will simply check the syntax up to this level. I'll just see. Okay. Now I need to change here also. In TVARVC, our column name was low. Now, what is the column name now? Column name is Val from. Rest is as it is. If you want how I have written this logic, just refer the implementation part of TVARVC. Each and everything is explained there. Because our requirement is same to same, there's no point in explaining the same logic again. I think there's a problem with if condition. I'll just check. Is there any extra if condition? If psi u name. Okay. This if and if. This if and if. Okay. I'll just go for this if condition. I will close this. And you all know why I have put this if condition. If psi u name is equal to r meta. So that I should not. So that other if they are doing something with sales order transaction code, their work should not impact because this logic will only only execute with my ID. This is the best practice, which I always told you. If you should not hamper the work of other people, whenever you are doing something with standard transaction code, always, always put a condition on your username. So that others should not impact because of you or make a practice. After doing this, you should undo all the things, whatever you did with standard transaction course. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are writing the logic. We have written the logic into MV45 AFZZ program. And in that we have a subroutine. There we are writing the logic. And anyways, it is fully explained why I am using this particular subroutine. Now, what I did, I simply copied the code. And now we need to only change the queries because rest is as it is. Rather than TVARVC, now we need to go for set leaf. So I have written the first query. Based upon that, we have two sets, Z quantity. And this is our second set. Whenever you are writing a query, the best way is check the data. If you see the data and write the query, the mistakes are very, very less. So we passed set class, subclass, set name, line ID. When you will pass all these four things, all four are primary key. So you will get a single 2000. So I am getting single 2000. I just change the type of this particular variable LV underscore quantity. After that, I want these all these three records. So I'm simply taking it to internal table. Now, do not go for passing the fourth because if you will pass the fourth key also, you will not get all the three records. You will get a single record. Now, in the next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. Plus, we will summarize this full topic of TVARVC and set leaf. So that's it into this particular video. Thank you.